a lot of their culture is in the Orthodox religion, which somehow survived through communism. I think it was kind of like the communist leaders kind of overlooked communi uh, orthodoxy still existing. Um, and you see a lot of different things of that just bred into their culture. Um, they have things like the 40-day fast where they'd not eat meat for 40 days, basically a vegan diet for 40 days. Um, and all sorts of, like every holiday has something great. They have so many holidays there. Um, there's a saint's day for basically every saint you could name under the under the sun. Um, it's kind of fun also, when you go by a church, they'll always cross themselves. And not a lot of people know why they do it, but someone was saying it's kind of like a memory of praying to God in a sense. Like, you know, I don't have time to stop and worship right now, but... I want to at least let you know that you're in my thoughts. That's kind of how I perceived that. Um, seeing that actually kind of strengthened my um, my want to pray more, pray stronger and more fervently. Because if they can do it every time they see a church, I might as well do it all the time, you know? Because there are a lot of churches there. With food, I think the only thing that I can think of in etiquette is when, when someone gives you something to eat, you eat it all. Because <laughs> um, it's... I don't know, like, I've, I've always been one to eat, so I haven't ever left anything left over. But they will keep giving you more. It's like, oh, we've got more. Take some more sadamali or whatever it may be. Um, and the food is, like, 99% of the time really, really good. And so um, I think the only thing is make sure to eat their food. Try it at least before you say that you don't like it. Because um, I had an opportunity to try something that didn't look too great. And probably wasn't my favorite thing to eat, but I was definitely glad that I'd tried it afterwards. So for holidays, actually, I can think of their two largest ones are Christmas and Easter, as the Christian religion would denote. Um, for Christmas, they spend so much time together as a family. It's really awesome. Um, and Easter time, the night before they have what we... American missionaries called Midnight Mass. Um, I don't know what, exactly what they'd call it. Um, but the night before Easter, everyone gathers around the churches and they have <coughs> a Mass or a service together in which um, they light this candle, which is, I believe, the Tradition is that it's fire from heaven um, coming down on Easter. And so the priest or the head of the church would light a candle and then pass it to everyone. Everyone would pass their candle out. And if you made it home um, with your candle still lit, all of your sins would be forgiven is, the, is how tradition denotes. Um, but they have all these different little traditions that they'll stick with that in some ways do point them a lot towards God, which is something interesting to think about. Because um, traditions are great as long as they point us towards God.